Hello and welcome to Tenses Explained. Today we are going to have a look at one of the most common tenses in the English language, the present tense. The present tense can be divided into two basic forms, the present simple and the present progressive. Let's have a look at the simple present first. It can be used for things that happen regularly, all the time, or for permanent situations. It can also be used when talking about the future, especially with timetabled events. Now let's see how these forms are used. Hey Max, do you like sports? Yes, Paul. Do you want to play soccer with us? A great idea. I sometimes play volleyball, but I can give soccer a try. Do you want to be in my team? Of course. When do you practice? Our practice sessions start every Monday at 6 p.m. Okay, one more question. How long does a soccer camp take? I never watch it on TV. Soccer games usually last 90 minutes. As you could see from the dialogue, Paul said soccer games usually last 90 minutes to talk about a permanent situation. It was true in the past, is true now and would almost certainly be true in the future as well. He also said practice sessions start to talk about future plans. The present simple can also be used to talk about a series of events. This is the case with instructions, commentaries and even stories. Let's have a look at how it is used in a recipe. Kate, how do you make your chocolate brownies? They are so delicious and I want to bring some to the boys' soccer practice on Monday. It's easy and doesn't take long at all, Amy. At first you mix flour, eggs and sugar. Then you melt some chocolate and butter. What kind of chocolate do you use? I like to use dark chocolate, but you can use other kinds of chocolate too. The only thing that is left is to mix everything together and finally put in some extra pieces of chocolate. Sounds brilliant. How long do you bake them? It usually takes 20 minutes, but it always depends on how many you want to have. Thank you. You're welcome. In this case, Kate used the present simple when talking about a recipe. For example, she said, I take, I mix, I like to use, and so on. However, there's also a second form, which is the present tense progressive. We use it when we are talking about something that is going on or in progress at a certain moment. Things can also be going on at the time of speaking, so they start shortly before that and finish shortly afterwards. Let's see how that works in a real-life situation. Hey Max, what are you doing? Where are you? Oh hi, I'm playing a cool game on my phone. What? I'm waiting in the changing room for you. We wanted to meet. Sorry, I forgot. I'm coming. Just give me a minute. No problem. I'm warming up in the meantime. Thanks. See you in a bit. In this situation, both use the present progressive throughout to describe what is going on at the moment. They use phrases like warming up or playing on the phone to show that something is in progress at the moment. When Paul talks about warming up, it started in the past, is relevant now and will also be relevant for the next couple of minutes. The progressive form can also be used to talk about future changes and changes from the past. Let's have a look at the dialogue and see how that can be done. Hey Oliver, what are you doing tomorrow morning? We could start working on our English project. Sorry Harry, tomorrow I'm looking for new soccer shoes with Max. Cool, how much are they? I don't know, but he told me that they're getting more and more expensive. I hope you find the right ones. So what about doing our project tomorrow afternoon then? That sounds great. In this example, the students were talking about future plans, but did not use a future tense. Instead, the progressive was used. Oliver said, for example, I am looking for new soccer shoes, to talk about plans for the next day. When talking about the shoes, Oliver used the progressive tense again to talk about the change in price. As you can see, the two forms of the present tense can be used in a lot of situations. And depending on how we use them, there can be a substantial difference in meaning. 